Welcome to Uncle C's Bible Lessons, and I am your host, Uncle C. Today's story is called David and Mephibosheth, and it's taken from 2 Samuel 9, and it is such a short story that I have included the verses that you can read along as I tell the story. And of course, after the story, you can discuss it at home. The action text is taken from 2 Samuel 9.1. David asks, is there anyone still left in Saul's family? I want to show kindness to this person for Jonathan's sake. Now on to the story. David had taken over the kingdom from King Saul, but he had a special friend. Have you ever had a special friend? You probably have one right now, a person who you like to talk with. It may be in person or on the phone or play with. And when you spend time with that person, it seems like even if it was a long time, it was a short time and you want more. That is your special friend. David's special friend was Jonathan, and he had promised Jonathan that he would have taken care of his family. So one day David is wondering, is there anyone left in Saul's family? I want to show him kindness for because of Jonathan's sake. So he summoned Ziba, and he asked Ziba, is there anyone in Saul's family? And Ziba said, hmm. Yes, uh, there is this person. Uh, this person, when he was small, he, he had problems with his legs. He couldn't walk. And he is there. And David wanted to know, well, who is this person? And he said, he's Mephibosheth. And David said, well, where is he? And Ziba answered and told him. So what David did, he made arrangements for his servants to bring Mephibosheth, Jonathan's son, over to him. Now, when Mephibosheth saw David, he bowed down and he said, I am your servant. And David said, do not be afraid. Now, in those days, when the king summoned you and you were not on his side, bad things happen. So David reassured him, nothing bad is going to happen to you. I will be kind to you because of your father's sake. And I am actually going to give you back the land that King Saul had. And you will be able to eat at my table. And Mephibosheth, he bowed again. He said, you are so kind to me. And David called in Zebo again. And he said, Zebo, I have given Mephibosheth these lands. And I want you to take care of the lands. And take care so he will eat, but he will also eat at my table. And Ziba said, I will do everything that you have commanded me. So Mephibosheth, he ate at David's table as if he were one of the king's sons. And even though he had problems with his legs, he could not walk properly. That did not matter. He was at the king's stake. Now, boys and girls, there are some points I would like you to remember. The relationships we establish can benefit our family members. And I would like you to ask your parents what that means. And they can actually give you examples of how things that how they were nice to individuals and how it benefited you. That would be a nice story. So you ask them. True friendship is precious. And Jesus wants to be our best friend. In fact, he wants to feast with us one day. Just as Mephibosheth was feasting with David, he wants to feast with us one day. Now, if I were to say the story in rhyme, it would go something like this. One day, David had Saul and Jonathan on his mind and wondered how to their family he could be kind. So he inquired of their relatives in their land, and he was told about a certain man. After a while, the two men met. 
David was introduced to Mephibosheth. David said, don't be afraid. I am happy to meet. At my table, you will always have a seat. All right, boys and girls, are you ready? What is the answer? Question number one, what was the name of David's best friend? A, Saul, B, Zeba, C, Mephibosheth, or D, Jonathan? What is the answer? And if you say D, Jonathan, you are correct. Question number two, what happened to Mephibosheth when he was a child? A, he was taken to Samaria. B, he damaged his, his hands. C, he damaged his legs. Or D, he was struck in his head. What is the answer? And if you say C, he damaged his legs, you are, of course, correct. Question number three, after speaking with David, what did Mephibosheth say to him? A, you are the man. B, you are very kind to me. C, I would like to join you in battle. Or D, my father often told me about you. What is the answer? And if you say B, you are very kind to me, that is, of course, correct. And finally, question number four, David, A, reserved a place at his dinner table for Mephibosheth. B, gave Mephibosheth all of the land which Saul previously owned. C, told Zeba to take care of Mephibosheth's property. Or D, all of the above. What is the answer? And if you say all of the above, of course, you are right. Now, boys and girls, it is time for prayer. So let's bow our head and let's close our eyes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love and friendship. You constantly see our needs and provide for us. Continue to teach us how to be your faithful friend, we pray. Amen. All right, boys and girls. Once again, I want to thank you for watching Uncle C's Bible Lessons. Uh, my email address is Uncle C Bible Lessons at gmail.com. That's Uncle C Bible Lessons at gmail.com. But before you write, please receive your parents' permission before writing. And I'm putting it back because there was someone uh, who wrote to me, Lady, Lady C, who wrote to me and said, you know what, the children need to contact you. How are they gonna contact you? So I am putting it back. And all I ask is if you can kindly subscribe to the channel to help me share these Bible lessons with others. I will greatly appreciate it. Now, boys and girls, we have come to the end of the story. Thank you for joining. And as you go throughout the week, always remember that Jesus loves you very much. Bye for now.